Okay, welcome uh, at magandang hapon sa ating lahat, sa mga participants and guests. Uh, maraming salamat for being with us at joining us in this um, first ever next series webinar on online distance learning using um, Google Tools. Okay, So, um, para sa part ng webinar series na ito, ang unang-una natin titingnan ay ang Google Classroom bilang isang learning management system. Okay, Alam ko at uh, I think uh, we're very familiar already that there are also other um learning management systems okay, like Schoology, Canva, CISO, among others. And I think um, bawat um, learning management system naman ay may kanya-kanyang mga uh, strengths and weaknesses. But I think uh, in terms of uh, strength, ang pinaka um, strength ng Google Classroom ay it's uh, more accessible than other platforms okay, because it's free and as long as you have a Gmail account, Okay, you can actually create a class inside your Google Classroom and use it as a learning management system. Okay, so that's why uh, we're going to look at Google Classroom uh, as a learning management system uh, para sa webinar series na ito. Okay, so um, to begin with, at, uh, to explore uh, Google Classroom, ay kailangan i-access ang Google Classroom. And meron kang uh, two ways uh, to do that <clears throat> para ma-access ang iyong Google Classroom. Okay, you can... Um, directly go okay, to classroom.google.com. It's going to bring you um, to your Google Classroom. Okay? If you have not signed up, signed in yet, okay, um, Google Classroom will ask you to sign in. Okay? And you will see here uh, your Google Classroom. Okay? Now, the other se the second access point is uh, via your Gmail. Okay? So if you go to your Gmail, you can actually um, access your Google Classroom um, inside your Gmail. Okay, so when you open your Gmail, um, the upper right corner, okay, you can see here, okay, uh, this button, um, Google Apps. Okay, so basically that uh, contains all your Google Apps uh, link into your Gmail. Okay, so if you click on that, okay, it's actually going to show you all the Google Apps uh, that you can use using your Gmail account, okay? And one of them would be uh, Google Classroom, okay? So, when you click on that uh, icon, it's going to bring you um, to the same um, web page we've been earlier, okay, when we go to classroom.google.com, okay? Now, when you open for the first time uh, your Google Classroom, wala kang makikita ganito, okay? So, walang demo class, walang class sample, uh, it's a blank slate na kung saan ka maglalagay ng mga classes mo, okay? Now, um, to, to start creating your classes, okay, uh, the first thing you have to do is to click on this plus sign at the upper right corner, okay? So, if you um, click on that, okay, it's going to ask you if you're going to join a class or create a class. Of course, para sa mga sudyante natin, um, they will have the same view, by the way. Um, if they open their Google Classroom, they will also see something like this. Okay, so all the classes they, they're enrolled into or joined. Um, and they will also have an option to join a class or create a class. Okay, now, um, if you... Um, a teacher, of course, okay, will be um, creating a class. So just click on create a class, okay. And if you are using a personal account, okay, the first thing that will pop up after you click on that button is um, this message from Google asking you to sign up uh, for a free G Suite of for Education, okay. I'm encouraging everyone, if you have time to set up a G Suite for Education account for your school, for your teachers, please do so, okay, because uh, that will give you so much more, okay, um, access to Google for Education tools, okay. But if not, okay, uh, and you're, um, uh, you, do, you want to continue with your personal account, there's nothing wrong with that, okay. Uh, you can simply tick the box, okay, and click continue. Okay, and then now you can start creating your class. Okay, so ang unang unang mong kailangan gawin ay um, bigyan ng class name, okay, ang iyong class. Okay, ako personally kapag naglalagay ako ng uh, class name, uh, lagi ko nilalagay ng section. So I recommend na lagyan yun ng section. Uh, why? Because when it appears sa Google Classroom mo, mas madali mo makita kung anong klase or para sa ang section ang klase na yon. Okay, so 
Also, nilalagay ko rin ang subject. Um, ito ay hindi para sa akin. Dahil alam ko namang yun ang subject ko. Ito ay para sa aking mga estudyante. Para when they see their classes, okay? Because they will be joining multiple classes from different subjects, okay? Um, it would be easier for them to identify which class is for which subject, okay? Pwede ka rin maglagay ng sections. So, for example, again, 10B. At ang subject natin for that. Okay. Once you're done, okay? You can um, simply cl uh, click create. Now, when you uh, click create, uh, Google will create your class inside your Google Classroom. Okay, now we have our first. If you're still your first, okay, but it's not my first, okay, uh, your first Google class in your Google Classroom. Okay, now. Um, the first thing you would see is this vibrant uh, theme or um, picture or image okay? uh, that's um, preloaded okay, by Google for you. Okay? You can change that if you want okay, uh, to customize that according to your subject. Okay? So you can click on this, um, select a theme, okay? and you can choose among the many um, preloaded uh, themes from Google. Okay? So by subject, okay? You have for math and science, okay, meron ka rin for arts, okay, sports, at kung special interest din, meron din mga themes na ginawa si Google for that, okay. Kung decided ka for a particular theme, um, pwede kang, pwede mo i-select yan, for example, uh, i-select natin dahil ako ay galing sa history, mag-select tayo ng something, okay, pwede ito. Okay, at um, ilo-load yan sa'yo ni Google, okay, uh, sa yung Google Class. Now, uh, there's also an option to upload a photo, okay? When you click on that, okay, um, it will ask you to um, upload a photo from your computer. So, for example, let's upload um, a photo from my computer. Um, please take note that when you're uploading um, a particular photo or image, okay, it must be within 2,000 by 1,000 uh, resolution to 2,000 by 500 uh, resolution, okay, or else um, Google will not accept that as your um, class theme, okay. So when you're done resizing um, or cropping your um, your image, okay, you can click uh, click on select theme, okay, okay, and it will change it into your customized uploaded image, okay. Now when you, when you're done with that, okay, um, you can explore the other features of uh, Google Classroom. But uh, the first thing we have to do is to look at the settings first, okay, so so that we know um, how to set. Um, the functions, okay, or things inside our classroom, okay. So when you want to change details, okay, of your class, you can go here, okay. Can okay, you can change that, okay? You can add description, okay, of your your class, okay. Uh, the section is still there, okay. You can um, update uh, the subject, okay. Um, there's also this um, other options, okay, uh, to customize um, the functionalities inside your um, Google Classroom or Google Class, okay? The first one is that, of course, you have your class code, okay? So, earlier, I was uh, telling you na kapag mag uh, join ng uh, students mo sa yung Google Classroom, they will have to have a class code and it's um, you'll be the one to generate that for them, okay? So, automatically, when you open a class, um, mag-generate si Google ng class code para sa class mo, okay? At isi-share mo yan sa mga estudyante mo, okay? So, meron ka ibang um, several options um, regarding your class code, okay? Pwede mo yung display okay? So, magpa-pop up yan into a, a larger font, okay? Para makita ng mga estudyante mo. If you're using a projector, or in this case, if you're sharing it via your um, screen sharing, okay? Pwede mo rin yung i-copy para pwede mo yung ipadala sa mga estudyante mo in different platforms like Messenger, Viber, uh, emails, etc. Uh, pwede mo rin yung i-reset okay, kung gusto mong baguhin. Um, kung sa tingin mo, for example, nag-leak or na-compromise ang iyong class code, pwede mo yung i-reset para maprotektahan ang iyong class. Or totally disable it para walang maka-access ng class mo gamit ang class code mo. Okay? So, it's up to you kung ano man ang um, gusto mong gawin sa class code mo, okay? Um, sa stream naman, okay, sa napag-usapan mamaya, okay? 
uh, pwede mo rin i-control okay, or i-manage ang permissions ng mga estudyante mo. Okay? So, you can choose among um, students can post and comment. Okay? Students can only comment and only teachers can post or comment. Okay? Actually, uh, for me personally, I always choose some that one in between. Students can only comment. I do not give them permission to post. Why? Because if you give them permission to post, you can just imagine uh, 36 students posting things on your Google Classroom and it will uh, mix up with your important announcements. Okay, so I only allow them to uh, make a comment. I do not restrict the man posting or uh, making comments uh, only to myself because that would be um, not productive. Okay, because for example, if they have a question about your post, they also need to make a comment or react to that, okay? If you, uh, if they have questions about it, okay? You can um, also um, modify the, um, the classwork on the stream if you want, um, because all your classwork, all your posts that you're going to create will be shown into your stream. So you can um, choose if your post will show um, attachments, okay? Or it will be a condensed notifications or totally, all your classwork will not appear in your stream. But of course, I do not want that. I want to um, see notifications. And um, for me personally, I also want to show attachments and details so that uh, right there and then, when they see the, the post uh, in the stream, they will already know the details and all the attachments within it. Okay. Okay. Um, the grading, we'll explore that later on as part of one of the main functions of uh, Google in Google Classroom. Okay. So when you're done um, changing your settings, okay, personalizing it, customizing it, just click on save, okay, and uh, your settings is um, saved, okay. Now, um, on the left side panel, okay, um, there's a drop menu here, okay, um, and you click on that, okay, it shows you um, your Okay, if you want to go to back to the home page where we started creating our class, you can click on this one. Uh, you also have a link calendar. So when you create a Google Class, um, Google Classroom also generates uh, a Google Calendar for that, which is integrated into your personal calendars. Okay, so you'll be able to see the activities, deadlines, etc. Um, of your class within your uh, personal calendar as well. Okay. Um, you also have your to-do list, okay? That basically is a summary of all the things that we, that's um, needed to be done or are scheduled, okay, in your classes, okay? You have your all your classes, okay? So it makes you able to navigate um, through your classes, okay, um, without uh, problems, okay? So if you want to transfer to um, your other sections or other classes, you can easily do that, okay? Um, without a hitch, okay? So, let's go back to our class, okay? Okay, now, um, in your stream, okay, um, you'll see here, okay, your, the name of your um, class, okay? So, it's be social science. That's why I, I encourage you to name it after your section and your subject. So, it's easily identifiable by your students, okay? Uh, nakalagay din dito yung section and uh, naka-display din dito yung uh, class code. Kanina, sa settings natin, pinili natin yung display class code. Kaya that's why, naka-display yan ngayon dyan. Pwede mo yung i-hide, okay? Uh, anytime. Okay? Now, um, pwede ka na diretso, okay? Pwede ka na kagad mag-post uh, uh, sa stream mo, okay? Uh, like, when you're posting, for example, in Facebook. Okay? So, basically, it works the same way, okay? So, for example, gawa tayo ng welcome um, to our class. Okay. okay. Now, whenever you are creating a post okay, or posting something in Google Classroom, you will always have this set of um, same options. Okay. So, the first one is uh, this button. Okay. This button um, allows you okay, to post or select okay, um, classes where that post will be sent. Okay, so it makes it so much easier if the post is common for all your classes, you don't need to repeat that post over and over again to the different classes. So, pwede mo na siyang i-click dito at ipapadala na ni Google sa lahat ng classes na gusto mo. Okay, so for example, ipadala rin natin ang uh, post na ito sa uh, uh, 10A. Okay, so meron kang dalawang classes na uh, pinili. Okay, 
Ngayon, uh, meron ka ding option to add uh, materials. Okay? So, meron kang uh, four sources ng materials mo. Okay? So, Google Drive, automatic naman yan kung meron kang Gmail, okay? meron ka na kagad um, uh, Google Drive. Okay? Pwede ka rin mag-add uh, ng link okay? uh, from a web page okay? um, or file. Uh, maari ka mag-upload ng file from your computer or YouTube. Okay? That's one of the good things or great things about Google Classroom dahil um, it belongs to the same um, environment. Um, integrated ang YouTube sa loob ng Google Classroom. Okay? So, you can easily access the videos from YouTube via Google Classroom. Okay? And also, here, um, you will also al always have an option. Okay? Um, okay? to whether to post, okay, to schedule, or to save as a draft. Okay, so, pwede mo yung gawin um, sa mga classes mo. Okay? Um, pero, tingna, uh, pansinin lamang na kapag uh, multiple classes ang um, post na ito, um, hindi mo yun pwedeng uh, i-schedule. Okay, so, that's why naka-gray yung schedule dito dahil hindi siya um, allowed. Okay, so, pwede mo rin yung i-save as a draft if you want. Okay? Okay, so i-post natin yan okay, bilang welcome remarks sa ating mga um, studyante. Okay, so you've created your first post inside your Google Classroom. Okay, punta naman natin ngayon ang isa sa pinakamahalagang par, uh, feature ng Google Classroom which is uh, ang ating classwork. Okay, so kapag clinic natin yan, um, ay dadalhin tayo sa ating page kung saan paari tayong gumawa or mag-create ng mga activities or assignments para sa ating mga estudyante. Okay? So, uh, para mag magsimula, um, i-click lamang ang create button. Okay? At kapag clinic mo yan, meron kang several options kung anong klase ng activity ang gagawin mo. Kung ito ba assignment, okay? um, quiz assignment, okay? question, material. Uh, maaari ka rin mag-reuse ng post kung nakapag-post ka na. Um, or topic. At nalalaman natin kung para sa inyong topic na yun mamaya. Okay? Ngayon, dahil gusto natin na nakakontextualize tayo sa ating kalagayan ngayon at kung paano gamitin ang Google Classroom sa ating konteksto, uh, na lalo na ngayon magiging modular ang ating delivery of instruction, okay? dyan kayo matutulungan ng Google Classroom dahil actually pwede kayong gumawa ng module sa loob ng Google Classroom. Okay? At paano gagawin yan? Ang una natin kailangan gawin ay mag-create ng topic. Okay? So, uh, dahil ito ay isang module, okay, tawagan itong, uh, lagyan itong pangalan na module 1, okay, ilagay ang content maybe ng iyong nalalaman ng module na ito, okay, uh, isama natin ang week kung kailan i-implement ang module na ito, okay, so, i-add lamang yan, okay, at uh, na-create na ang iyong first module, okay, so, of course, wala pa yung laman, at yan ang gagawin natin, okay. So, habang ina-explore natin ang iba't ibang klase ng classwork, ay maggagawa rin tayo ng module bilang simulation ng module making. Okay, so, ang natin gawin ay gumawa tayo ng material or mag-send tayo ng material sa ating mga sudyante, okay. So, bigyan niya ng title, okay. Mabasahin at sanggunian. Okay, tungkol sa nasyon, ang haba ng title natin. Okay? At dahil yan yung materials, mag-a-add tayo ng uh, materials. Okay? So, para makapag-add ka ng materials, okay? i-click lamang ang uh, add button na ito. Okay? At meron kang four options okay? uh, kung paano or saan mo kukunin ang materials mo. Maaring ito ay galing sa Google Drive, maaring ito ay galing sa Google Link, uh, uh, sorry, uh, website link, uh, file mula sa iyong computer or video mula sa YouTube. Okay, so, um, simulan natin. For example, mag-attach uh, tayo ng file mula sa aking Google Drive. Okay, so hanapin natin. Meron na akong preloaded um, documents. Okay, kung ito ay reading material, maganda na nasa PDF para hindi na babago ng mga sudyante natin. Okay, mag-add pa tayo ng isa pang material. For example, from YouTube. Okay, dahil ito ay properly integrated na or seamlessly integrated into your Google Classroom, you can uh, access Google right inside your Google Classroom. So, it's also a good thing because the students cannot like go to another window and visit YouTube. 
Okay? And be it becomes a distraction. Okay? So, type lamang ang uh, video na gusto mong hanapin. Okay? So, for example, what is a nation? At uh, YouTube will give you suggestions. Okay? Um, so, for example, um, piliin natin ang video na ito. Okay? And then, click add. Okay? So, it's now added into your um, draft. Okay? Maari ka rin mag-create ng mga uh, document gamit ang mga Google for Education tools like Docs, Slides, um, Sheets, Drawings, and Forms. Pero hindi natin pag-uusapan ngayon yan uh, kung gusto mong patuloy na matuto or matuklasan kung paano gamitin ang mga tools na ito. Uh, subaybayan ng webinar series na ito. Okay? Uh, mamaya pag-uusapan ng aking um, co-presenter ang Google Sheets at Google Form. Okay, okay um, kung... Tapos tayo mag-attach, okay? maaari mo nang i-assign yan sa kung anong klase or sa ang klase mo yan gustong i-assign. Uh, or kung gusto mong i-assign yan sa specific students. Okay? But uh, of course, wala tayong estudyante sa class na to, So, naka -default, by default, okay? all students yan. Okay? And katulad sabi ko, dahil ito ay ginagawa natin sa loob ng isang module, uh, ipasok natin yan sa uh, ginawa nating module or topic. Module 1, uh, week 1. Okay? Now, uh, pagkatapos niyan, okay, uh, katulad ng sabi natin kanina, uh, meron kang option okay, kung ito ay you want to post it now okay, or you want to schedule it, okay, um, save draft or discard draft if you want. Okay. But for the sake of this simulation of module making, we'll be scheduling that um, that material. Okay. So let's click on schedule. Okay. Basically, what it does is it uh, schedules your posting. So it will not immediately be posted. Okay, so for example, dahil lang ating week 1, for example, ay uh, may implement from June 15 to June 19, ang our, our first post will be posted on June 15. Okay? Marari mo rin specify ang time, okay? Um, na gusto mong lumabas ang post na ito. So for example, dito, uh, ipopost natin ito ng 8 a.m. Okay, so automatically, uh, without you even doing anything, okay, i- isa-send yan ni Google Classroom sa inyong mga estudyante. Okay, so, i-click lamang ang schedule kung tapos na. At, uh, nagawa na natin ang ating unang material or unang um, part ng ating module. Okay, so, okay now, magdagdag uh, pa tayo. Okay, so, ngayon naman, dahil nakapag-assign na tayo ng material sa kanila, ay magtanong naman tayo or gumawa tayo ng discussion board tungkol sa materials na yun. Okay, so, para gawin yan, okay, uh, i-click lamang ang option na question. Okay, so kung gusto mo gawa ng mga talakayan, um, mga discussion boards, okay, the question option is a good option. Okay, okay so um, ilagay lang natin ang question na gusto natin tanong. For example, ano ang nasyon? Okay, at maaari ka magbigay ng instruction. Okay, um, dito sa right side ay maaari mong piliin kung ito ba ay short answer or multiple choice question. Okay, so para sa tanda na to, piliin natin ang short answer. Okay, tulad kanina, maaari ka mag-add ng files, okay, uh, mag-create ng files, okay, para sa tanong na to, but dahil naibigay naman natin ng materials para sa tanong na to, uh, hindi na tayo mag a ng materials. Okay, maaari mo ding, uh, again, specify sa classes kung kayo uh, sa ang klase mo ito ipapadala um, sa lahat ng sudyante o sa specific students. Okay, Ang kakaiba sa question option na classwork ay maaari ka mag-assign ng points okay, para sa um, classwork na ito. Sa halimbawa, bigyan natin ito ng 10 points. Okay. Or, kung ito ay isang formative assessment, maaari mo rin namang piliin na ito ay ungraded. Ibig sabihin, hindi mag-generate ng uh, grade si Google para sa uh, classwork na ito. Okay. Maaari din natin piliin ang uh, maglagay ng due date. So, for halimbawa, okay, piliin natin, um, i-assign natin yung due date na to, okay, okay. at i-assign natin to on um, June 16, okay, so, bawat araw, meron tayong naka-assign na um, classwork, okay, at ibigyan natin to ng deadline na 5pm. I suggest na ang mga deadlines nyo ay hindi masyadong late, okay, so, huwag kayo magpapasubmit, for example, ng 12 midnight, medyo mahirap yun para sa ating mga sudyante, uh, ako, per, ako, ako personally, I prefer na uh, around 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. para to respect na rin yung time ng mga students natin. Okay? You can uh, choose uh, whether they can uh, reply to each other okay? or they can uh, edit the question uh, or the answer that they have given. Okay? 
At pagkatapos niyan, um, again, huwag natin kalimutan, ilalagay natin yan sa ating uh, topic, module 1. Uh, okay. At kung tapos ka na, um, maaari mo yan itanong agad. Ngunit dahil tayo nagde-develop ng ating module, atin niyang i-schedule. Okay. So, i-click ang schedule. At um, schedule natin yan on June 16. Okay. Same time, 8 a.m. Okay. So, also that's uh, one way of building routines. Okay. Na laging by 8 a.m. lumalabas ang iyong mga posts sa iyong Google Classroom. Okay. So, schedule natin yan. Okay. okay. So, ngayon, meron ng dalawang laman ang ating module. Okay. So, naman, uh, ay gumawa tayo na, magdagdag pa tayo ng nilalaman ng ating module 1. Okay. At ngayon, gumawa naman tayo ng assignment. Okay. So, perfect ang assignment option para sa mga worksheets, um, activities like that, na pwede mo ipagawa sa inyong mga sudyante. Okay. So, for example, ito ay gawain. Okay. Maaari ka lang maglagay ulit ng instruction para dyan. Okay. At para dito ay mag-upload tayo ng uh, file mula sa aking uh, Google Drive. Okay. So, okay. I-attach lamang natin yan. So, maganda dito is that um, kapag nag-attach ka ng mga worksheets, ay naka-Google document ang iyong worksheets dahil kapag naka-Google document yan, ay mayroong, magkakaroon ka ng option uh, na maaari mong piliin para sa iyong mga sudyante. Okay? So, maaaring ito ay students uh, can view the file. So, hindi nila pwedeng i-edit ang iyong file. Okay? Or, Maaring the students can edit the file. Okay, so all the students editing the same file. Okay, so, but if you're uh, asking for individual submissions, that's not a good thing because they will be editing the same document. Okay, all 30 or 40 of them. Um, ang maganda sa uh, Google document kapag ito ang ginamit mong format ng iyong worksheet, ay maari itong make a copy. Ma maari kang mag-assign ng make a copy for each student. So i-click lamang yan. Okay. So, ang gagawin niyan is that uh, it will generate individual copies for each student. Okay? So, hindi nila pwedeng galawin ang iyong master copy at kapag nag-submit sila, ay individual din ang masasubmit nilang papers at hindi lamang isang papel. Okay? So, I really suggest kapag mag-worksheets kayo, i-convert niyan sa Google document. Okay? Ngayon, um, same um, settings. Okay? So, maaari mong uh, piliin ulit um, kumpara sa ang klase ito. Um, all students ba or specific students? Maaari kang mag-assign ng points para dito. Um, at of course, due date. Okay, so for example, mag-assign tayo ng due date for that. Okay, um, on um, June 17. Okay, at uh, of course, uh, setting routines. Lagi natin ipasubmit yan by 5 p.m. But again, it's up to you. Okay, ang importante lang siguro ay mag makapag-set kayo ng routines. Okay. At uh, wag ating kalimutan, ilagay natin yan sa ating module uh, number 1. Okay? Ngayon, um, isa sa ba bagong option or bagong button sa assignment option ay ang rubric. Okay? So, maaari kang gumawa ng rubric para sa iyong assignment. Okay? So, kapag clinic mo yan, okay? meron kang tatlong option okay? uh, na pwedeng gawin. Okay? Maaari kang mag-create a rubric okay? or reuse a rubric. Uh, that you have created already within the Google Classroom. Or you can also import from Sheets. Okay, so if you have existing rubrics uh, from before, from last year, you simply have to convert them and then put them in your Google Sheets and you can actually already import them into Google Classroom and use it uh, as your rubrics. Okay, so there's really not much work there okay, if your rubrics are already there or set from last year. Okay, But of course, uh, let's um, do and create a rubric okay instead okay just to show you how it looks like okay um so when you create a rubric okay you'll have to put a criterion okay so uh, for example our first criterion is nilalaman okay and uh, describe that criterion okay um what does it mean uh, when you're assessing uh, that particular criterion okay and then you can assign levels um, of assessment to each criterion. So, for example, in this um, criterion, I'll be assigning five, okay, for all the excellent content, okay. Uh, but uh, you can add levels uh, to that criterion by uh, clicking this, okay, and it's going to add another field, okay, so for example, four, for very good, okay. 
and you can continue um, adding um, levels okay depending on the levels of the criterion you, you're assessing okay so it's up to you uh, basically okay once you're done with that you can add uh, um, another criterion okay here below uh, at the lower left corner okay so when you click on that okay um, it's going to open to a new field okay wherein you can put your new criterion okay so for example let's put um, kaayusan okay you can I like uh, earlier you can also put uh, description okay and of course uh, your criterion level okay so for example five again for excellent um, organization okay I suggest that um, you do create um, same levels for all your criterions okay for it's all easier to um, to to see okay and also easier to understand for your students okay? and you keep you can keep on adding um, your levels okay if you want okay you can keep on adding criterion because usually our rubrics have a usually around three to four criterions okay once you're done okay you can um, go to the lower uh, upper right corner okay and um, click on save okay and that will save your rubric okay so you can see here your rubric is already attached into your um, uh, assignment okay now uh, our, the last thing to do is to decide if it's going to be assigned already uh, scheduled or saved as a draft okay but of course in this uh, simulation of module making um, we're scheduling that one okay so we'd like to schedule that on June 17, um, posted around 8 a.m. Okay, so they will see that and they will have to submit the work at around 5 p.m. Okay, so let's click on um, schedule. And now we have three uh, items under our uh, module one. Okay, and, and you see what, what we're doing every day. Uh, we're assigning something to our students to do uh, as if they're in the classroom. Okay. Uh, that's that's also one way of building up momentum, uh, building up uh, progression uh, within that module. Okay. Now our last one. Let's create a quiz assignment. Okay. So when you do a quiz, okay. So similar fields. Okay. You have your title, um, instructions. Okay. When you do a quiz assignment, it will automatically generate a blank quiz. Okay. So from Google Forms, I will not discuss that how to do that because my co-presenter will be discussing Google Forms today. Okay. So let's just uh, delete that one. Okay. I already preloaded and made a quiz uh, from uh, my drive. Okay. So let's just um, import that. Okay. So that's a good thing about um, Google Classroom. If you create um, a quiz inside um, Google Forms, okay, that form is um, stored in Google Drive, and therefore you can reuse it anytime um, as long as it's there. Okay. So our quiz has been loaded. Okay. Um, you can, uh, as again, similar fields. Okay. You can specify those things. Okay. Um, you can assign the due date. Uh, let's assign this on Thursday. Okay, so we're almost done with the week. Okay, you can assign that on at, at 5 p.m. as well. Okay. Okay, you can also create a rubric if you want, but for this one, it's an objective type, so we're not going to assign a rubric. Okay, but if you are assigning, a, for example, an essay, would be good um, if you assign a um, rubric. Okay. And of course, let's not forget, let's put that under our module number one. Okay. So when you're set, okay, um, just click on, okay, again, you can assign it already. You can schedule or save a draft. But for this, uh, again, as I keep on saying, we're developing a module. Okay. So let's assign it on June 18, 8 a.m. Okay. So the quiz will be viewed by the students at that time. Okay, so now we have four things, okay? Um, if you want to rearrange your activities uh, within the module, you can simply drag and drop that. Okay, so for example, let's carry this one on top, um, followed by this activity. So it's um, arranged by schedule. Okay. Now you can also see your modules uh, at the left side panel, okay? So what does it look like if you create another um, module for example okay so if we create another topic okay, for example module two that's entitled that um, stado 
uh, for week two. Okay, so week two will be looking at state. Okay, so let's uh, add that. Okay, and it's going to be created on top of your module one. If you want um, to rearrange that, you can simply click on this um, um, drop down uh, menu. Okay, it's going to give you an option to move it up. Okay, so when you click that, you can see that your module one has been moved up. Okay, so yeah, get new module one more so for better organization. Okay, um, we're not going to explore it now, but uh, you can actually explore it on your uh, by your own. Okay, you also have a Google Calendar linked into your uh, Google Classroom. So whenever you generate a Google class, um, Google um, will generate a specific calendar for that class okay so whatever you're posting there the deadlines activities reminders and tasks are all posted in that calendar and it's integrated into your personal calendar so you can actually view it there okay uh, your students will also have view to this um, so it will easier will be easier to uh, for them to manage their tasks and activities okay so napakagandang feature ng google classroom okay you will also have a class drive folder kung saan lahat ng um, files nyo are stored. Okay, so, lahat ng attachments natin na ginawa kanina are all um, stored in a particular class drive folder for specific to your class. Okay? Uh, your students will have access to this, but uh, there's a unique um, uh, ownership to the class folder. Okay? The students can edit their folders on their end, but it won't affect your folders. Okay? So, don't worry. Okay? So, for example, if they're doing their works, Okay, it's automatically being saved into their own class drive folder, okay, individual class drive folders. Okay. So um, we now have activities from Monday to Thursday. I did not put uh, something on Friday because I recommend that every end of the module, okay, you have a video conferencing uh, using uh, Google Meet or other video conferencing tool um, just to summarize or synthesize the module, uh, give feedbacks, okay, give additional checkup quizzes maybe uh, just to assess if they, they got the, the lesson correctly. Okay, so that's how you uh, develop a module inside Google Classroom. Okay, so now um, let's go down to the last two features of Google Classroom. And to do that, okay, um, to explore people and grades, I'd like it, I'd like to bring you to another class because uh, it would need uh, some people who have joined the class already. Okay, so let's view one of my demo classes as well. Okay, if you click on people, it will show you uh, the list of teachers. Okay. Um, that you that manages the, the the class okay so for example this one i'm first i'm the owner and i have invited another teacher to manage my class okay don't forget that your invited um, collaborators will have access to um, modifications to your class the only thing they can't do is to erase or archive your class okay and you can see here that your your students are listed here okay you can toggle um, how they're arranged, okay? Um, sort by last name or sort by first name, it's up to you, okay? Um, you can uh, click a particular student, okay? For example, that uh, I, I choose this student, and there are several actions you can do, okay? So you can email them, you can remove, and you can mute a student, okay? So when you click mute, okay? These are the things that's going to happen. They can still submit their work, okay? Um, but they cannot. Um, other students won't be able to uh, see their work, okay? can't reply to classmates' work, and they can't comment to post. So, for example, you there are students that are misbehaving in class, you might want to mute them, okay? But don't worry, they can still submit their works, okay? Um, okay, you can choose multiple students, okay? Uh, so, you could email them all together, remove them at the same time, or mute them uh, at the same time, okay? Um, normally, uh, if you're using a G Suite um, account okay, um, in setting up your Google Classroom, you will have an extra button somewhere right here, right here, um, which um, you, you, in, wherein you can actually invite parents. Okay? So that's one of the advantages um, of using a G Suite um, account is that you can actually invite parents into your Google Classroom so that they can also monitor and check up on their kids, especially right now that they, we are doing online distance learning, okay? Okay, last one would be your grades, okay? So when you click on that, okay, uh, it's actually uh, like a sh in a sheet form, in a table form, okay, uh, wherein it 
um, contains all your assessments, okay, and all the submissions and all the grades of your students, okay. Um, notice that if it's marked as red, okay, and missing, it means the student did not submit or have not yet submitted their work, okay. It will be marked gray if it's late submission, and it will be marked um, green if it, uh, if the student turned in their assessment, okay. Please do not forget that because the students usually forget uh, to click turn in whenever they're submitting their requirements, okay? Now, if you want to uh, download your grades, you can simply go on uh, and click one of your assessment titles like this, okay? It's going to bring you, okay, uh, to the details of your um, assessment or to your assignment, okay? And um, sa upper right corner, meron kang setting button right here, okay? When you click that, okay? You can, there are options on how to um, export or import your, 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 export your grades, okay? So you can copy all grades to Google Sheets. Okay? Uh, you can download all grades as uh, CSV. That's a readable file by Excel and uh, Google Sheets, okay? Uh, download these grades as um, CSV, okay? So, so you can specify all grades, so all of the grades in all assessments, or you can just simply uh, download the grades for this particular assessment, okay? Uh, so, and when you do that, um, Google Classroom will generate uh, for you a Google Sheet file which you can access with all the names and all the grades and assessments um, of your students, okay? Okay, now, um, so that would be the features of Google Classroom. So, again, the stream, the classwork, the people, and the grades, okay? So, if you posted your, whatever you, you posted, it will appear in the stream. But of course, right now, since we've scheduled most of our posts, uh, it, uh, it will not yet appear in our stream, okay? Now, some um, maybe um, tips on using uh, Google Classroom so that it becomes more effective for you, okay? Uh, and you can maximize the power of Google Classroom. One, you might want to explore some extensions available at the Chrome Web Store, okay? So you can simply go to Chrome Web Store and type in Google Classroom extensions, okay? So you can see all the possible extensions you can have for Google Classroom, okay? Um, second is that um, to... Um, set routines, very important is for you to set routines in your class, okay? Um, th this would lessen misbehavior and problems that you would encounter later into the year, okay? Um, third is that um, make sure that you use Google Classroom as frequently as possible, okay? Um, comment to their questions, uh, answer their questions, okay, react to their questions or their answers so that it also invites them to be more present in Google Classroom. So they will have that habit of checking uh, notifications or announcements, okay? The last one maybe is that when you prepare your module, please do take time uh, in preparing your modules. Um, we cannot implement modules that's being made like a day before its implementation. It would be very risky and hard, okay? Uh, we won't be able to see um, the integrity of the modules we're creating. Okay? So I suggest that uh, if you want to create modules, create them like uh, one week or two weeks before its implementation. Okay. Salamat sa pakikinig at pagdalo sa webinar series na ito tungkol sa module making uh, sa loob ng Google Classroom. Sana ay nakatulong ako sa paggawa niyo ng mga modules uh, for this upcoming uh, year. Um, kung meron kayong mga tanong, comments at suggestions, mag-comment lamang. Don't forget to like, uh, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Okay. Maraming salamat. Till our next video.